We are in Barcelona where today we've been riding Harley Davidson's 2018 Fat Bob 114 and as you can see it's incredibly aggressively styled. It's got Harley Davidson's redesigned Milwaukee 8 engine under that tank which was first seen in the 2017 Tora range. Harley Davidson's have long been the marmite of motorcycles and the latest soft tail range is no exception. But one bike in particular stands out for its controversy causing attire. The new Fat Bob. The original Diner Fat Bob made its debut in 2008, radically even then. Fast forward a decade and the Bob has regressed into darker territories, with the 2018 model achieving ultimate badass. Harley purists will hate it for the huge wheels, sports bike-like styling and distinct lack of chrome, while the all-American manufacturer hopes it will act as a gateway model to new, cooler customers. One thing is certain, however. It's an absolute lump and not at all well suited to the twisting mountain roads we tested it on in Catalonia this weekend. But, for what it lacks in finesse it makes up for with its eye-catching looks and aggressive styling. Call it the muscle car of motorcycles, a Dodge Challenger on two wheels. Engine Under that tiny tank sits Harley's Milwaukee 8 V-Twin, which was first seen in the 2017 Tora range. For the soft tails, it's received dual internal counterbalancing, which works with the rigid engine mounts to reduce vibrations. Harley Davidson's trademark potato, potato, potato soundtrack is still there, as are vibrations, albeit lesser so at higher speeds. The 1868cc 114 powertrain makes 114 pound per foot of torque at 3000 revs, while the engine tops out just shy of 6000. It's a versatile unit with an abundance of power. Peak of 92.7 horsepower is reached at 5020 rev per minute. According to HD figures, the 114 is 9% faster from 0 to 60 than the 107 and 13% faster in 5th gear from 60 to 80 miles per hour. Handling Wide bars, forward foot pegs and a deep seat combine to give the bike a neutral riding position, which is surprisingly comfortable. However, it's far from the relaxing ride associated with Harley Davidson's. Thanks to wide tyres, 150mm at the front and 180 at the rear, the street bob takes a decent shove of counter steer to lean into tight bends, and even more so at lower speeds. Mid-corner, the thick front just wants to stand back up. But, to give credit where credit's due, this bike shines on wide open straights and fast sweeping bends. Open the throttle up and it feels stable and comfortable. The deep seat holds the rider forward, keeping the pressure off their arms. Suspension Pothole devouring suspension is how Harley Davidson has described the new fat bulb setup. Personally, I'd be wary to take on any potholes bigger than a dog bowl due to the woolly inverted forks which dive at the slightest jolt or touch of the front brake. The new rear monoshock is firmer and features five level preload adjustment with a useful external adjuster. Brakes. Stopping power is accounted for by a four piston caliper up front and a two piston floating unit at the rear. ABS is standard, while unfortunately traction control is not. Equipment Where this bike shines is in its styling, or rather it doesn't shine. It's dramatic and dark, featuring a host of matte elements and a new lighting signature. The horizontal LED strip light replaces the previous model's chrome dual lights, transforming the front end. Flanked by the thick black forks, with a wide bar sat on top, is imposing and bullish. The 16-inch cast rims and deep-treaded tyres add to the bike's aggressive nature, while the 212 upsweated exhaust looks decidedly sporty. Like a man who wears a small t-shirt to accentuate his muscles, Harley is scaled back on tank size to show off the big twin. At 13.6 litres, it's one of the smallest in the soft tail range, and combined with a fuel economy of 44 miles per gallon, it won't make for the best range, but this bike is more about being seen than long-distance touring. Standard items across the soft tail range include new instrumentation, keyless ignition with security system and a steering head mounted USB port. While this model isn't cheap, it's certainly well equipped. We like That aggressive radical styling. Whether it be an admiration or disgust, this bike is a guaranteed head turner. We don't like The wallowy front suspension and wide tyres. Both may add to the bike's badass nature, but I feel they inhibit its riding potential. Verdict Harley Davidson has taken a departure from its chrome clad classics with its 2018 soft tail range, and the fat bob is by far the most extreme. Its huge tyres, sporty styling, and a distinct lack of chrome signifies the all American manufacturer's move into a darker era. 
The fat bob will definitely divide opinion between purists and new, younger riders that the brand has its target firmly set on. But I feel the street bob soft tail provides a far more engaging ride.